All right, so say that we want to solve 37 times 24, but we don't know how to do the standard algorithm yet. One way is the box method. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna physically make a box. Okay, and then you're gonna divide that box into four quadrants. We have quadrant A, B, C, and D. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna break up the numbers. I see I have 37. That's the same as 30 and seven. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put 30 here and seven here. I'm gonna do the same thing with my other number. I see my other number is 20 and four. So I'm gonna do 20 and four. Okay, we're still going to multiply these numbers but we're gonna multiply them more distributive, very similar to the distributive property in third grade. Okay, so we're gonna distribute the numbers. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna do 30 times 20. I know three times two is six, and then I just add the two zeros. Okay, next I'm gonna do the next, it doesn't matter which box, but I'm gonna do box B. Seven times 20, seven times 20. Well, two times seven is 14. And then I know I put a zero at the end. Okay, I'm gonna fill out the other boxes. I see 30 times four, three times four is 12 with a zero. And then last but not least, four times seven is 28. I'm just breaking apart those numbers so I can multiply them. Now, obviously I still need to figure out my solution, right? My answer. So what I need to do is add each of the numbers up. So I have 600 plus 140 So I finished that one, I finished that one. Now 120. And last but not least, 28. Oh my goodness, look at that answer. So 37 times 24 equals 888.